Hello everyone and welcome to our podcast for today. Uh, we're gonna start with our series, I Wanna Live Like That. Thank you so much for joining me. So, every day of our life, we face a series of choices. These choices shape us and mold the very core that we are standing on. This reminded me of the choice I got to make when I was younger. In fourth grade, there was an opportunity that opened and it was calling anyone who knows how to use a hammer, a nail, and a pieces of wood. The choice I made was to volunteer myself to do a cabinet. I could have said no and do what other girls do, but there is something inside of me that kept saying, I can do this. That night, I planned in my head how the cabinet would look, how many pieces of wood will be used for the frame, and how would I hammer the nail in to hold the pieces together. I thought of nothing but cabinet that night and dreamed of cabinets. The next day was Saturday. I was glad to run away from selling bread and cooked steamed muffins in the streets. Uh, we always run away from city government workers who chase peddlers like us. I don't like them because they are chasing our livelihood away too. Every time we were driven away from the streets are the times that we couldn't eat because it, if we don't sell any bread or muffin, we don't have money to buy one for a kilo of chicken and three different vegetables for chop suey. So, I was in school that Saturday and started making the cabinet that I volunteered on. At first, some of my classmates were helping, but then they got bored. I was left alone to finish the cabinet. It turned out that the cabinet was not able to stand because the wood were old and irregular in shape. I continued volunteering in school since then, and at the end of the school year, I was awarded the most industrious in our class. I was glad to have received that award because at least only for one day I want to live like that. Like my parents could take a break from all those who were chasing us away from the streets when we sell bread and steam muffins. The choice I made that day allowed me to draw my parents away from the streets, even just for one day, to wash up, dress up, and show up to an event that would make them proud of me. But something about this choice made me think twice. Now that I have grown, seeing this example at an angle where wisdom comes from, the Lord made me wrestle in my thoughts. Was I wise that day to volunteer? I hope I didn't cause grief to my mom. Now that I have left her cooking and preparing the food we were to sell, I don't really know what they were thinking or feeling that day when we were called on that stage to receive my award. I was reminded of this verse in Proverbs chapter 10, verse 1 in the Bible. It says, a wise son makes a glad father, but a foolish son is the grief of his mother. Thank you so much. And if you want to know more about me, you can look for the blog post. The title is What Matters Most. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye.